Okay, here's a couple of fan relays. Now, this relay, relay here is single pole double throw, and I'm going to go over that with a diagram pretty quick. This one has two single pole double throw switches in. So the first thing I'm going to do is give you a diagram representation, as you would see in a wiring diagram. Okay, here we have two diagram representations of the single pole double throw switch. A single pole double throw switch is kind of an either or switch. It can't be, it can't pass power two ways at the same time. It has to either be in one position or in the other. So it's an either or switch. Okay, when I say single pole, now here's my pole in this representation down here. My pole is right here. Okay, that's the thing that moves back and forth. Now this one is a little easier to tell what it would do when it switches because this a lever here is going to move up here and pivot back here. So uh, this one up here, it just shows a set of clo normally closed contacts there and normally open contacts there. So this is a normally open throw, this is a normally closed throw, normally closed throw, normally open throw. So power, in this case, in this bottom one, is going down this way. And this one up here is going up here, down here, and over that way. So when I energize the relay, that means this part here, this throw, is going to go up here, shut this off, and turn this on. Well, in this case, it's going to open this and close this. Now, that's the way the uh, single pole double throw switch works. Now, it's real simple, but it's kind of amazing how many people have their problems with this type of switch. This is a switch that's commonly used on gas furnaces. And it's used to uh, turn on fans. Uh, we may want a fan running in low speed for heat. And so the power would pass on this one would pass down here and go to the fan motor. But when I wanted to have high speed on the fan, the high speed would be hooked here. It would switch up there. Uh, but it would not stay down here because if it stayed down there, then it would burn up the motor because you can't have two windings energized at the same time. So, the either or switch with a diagram representation.